الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلوات وأتم التسليم على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وطبيب نفوسنا أبي القاسم محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي I will be starting by the grace and will of Almighty Allah a short course in the lessons of Usul of Fiqh an introduction to the principles of jurisprudence this is a very simple course that would not need any previous uh, understanding of this very important subject uh, of course it would need an overall understanding of fiqh jurisprudence itself so prior to entering in into the field of usul al-fiqh it is important that one has a general understanding of fiqh not only in relation to the uh, laws of the sharia but also a detailed understanding of uh, fiqh as a science this particular course that I will be starting is a summary of uh, a very uh, well-known book that uh, was authored by the late Shaheed Ayatollah al uzma al-Sayyid Muhammad Baqir al-Sadr rahimahullah and it is the famous book called uh, Durus fi Ilm al-Usul Durus fi Ilm al-Usul, this is um, the Arabic version uh, is divided into uh, three parts. This is uh, another um, another edition of Ilm uh, al of Durus fi Ilm al It's divided into three parts. Part part one is called Al Halaqa al Ula, and then part two is Al Halaqa Thaniya, and part three is Al Halaqa al Thalitha. Each one is more uh, vast and uh, more detailed than the previous one. So this would be a simple introduction to uh, the first part of Shahid al-Sadr's book called Durus fi Ilm al-Usul, which means lessons in the uh, principles of jurisprudence. A uh, very good thing is that the first uh, part or the Halaqa Ula has been translated twice uh, into English. One uh, published by uh, ICAS, Islamic College for Advanced uh, Studies, and this indeed is uh, a good, uh, reliable translation. And um, the other is uh, published in America by One World Oxford uh, and um, pa Roy Parviz Muttahide was the one that um, had translated this. Sorry, I said uh, America, but it's England. I will be basing my uh, course on uh, this particular book where um, it's divided, this is uh, of course the translation of the particular book, where it's divided into uh, 18 uh, lessons. Each lesson is one to two pages and on each of the uh, lessons I will be putting the text for each class for you to read about in detail. I might be reading segments of the text itself but I will uh, rely on you, the students, to read in detail the text. You will have an option of either reading the text online there or downloading the, the whole file, printing it out and having it there uh, in, in front of you. Uh, the first lesson that we will be having today is in us understanding our role and duty in life. As human beings we know there is a purpose in life, we know that there are things surrounding us that we need to uh, categorize 
as to whether we should do that particular act, whether we should refrain from it, whether we should uphold some uh, particular uh, issue or whether we should stay away from it. This gives us an objective understanding of what the goal is in our lives. There is a purpose for us to be living and we do have to understand what this duty is that uh, we are bound to uh, follow in order for us to improve the quality of our life. Seeing that Almighty God has created us for a purpose, we need to understand where is it that we can derive the particular method of living. And this method of living would of course entail uh, improvements in the quality of our lives and will, it will also give us the happiness that we need. This happiness would also be of benefit for us in this world and also in the hereafter. Once we depart this world, making sure that God is content of the lifestyle that we chose, this would mean that uh, we will be uh, blessed with having everlasting felicity and happiness in the hereafter. Obe obeying Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can only be done through understanding His rulings, understanding what it is that He has commanded us to do and what it is that He has uh, commanded us not to do. Which is why studying the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very, very important. I want to live an honorable life. I want to live a life that is free of any tension or problems. I, may, I want to make sure that my spiritual life is also at its highest. I want to stay away from living a life of wretchedness or, uh, or living a life that doesn't have any meaning to it. And this can only be done through understanding what is of benefit for us and also through understanding what is detrimental to us. And this is why we have categorized our uh, duties towards everything in this world. Of course, I'll be explaining this more in detail later on into five categories, the wajib, the obligatory, and the other, the other side is the forbidden, the haram. Then we have things in between, mustahab, recommended, makruh, uh, dis dis disliked. Then we have the middle which is mubah or neutral. Everything that we do needs to fall under one of these five things. So when we understand that there are conditions that we need to meet in order for us to stay obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know that He is the Creator, He is the cause of causes in existence, that He created things and He knows better what we should be uh, using or what we should be staying away from and everything else, then we will be able to define the goal in our life. We will be able to understand that the method of living must be within the boundaries that He, the Almighty, has clearly put down for us. So, managing what it is that satisfies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and knowing that these are the things that will bring about His content all fall under the role and duty of the divine sharia. Ah. Please keep in mind brothers and sisters that you need to follow the text that we will supply uh, for each lesson. It is important that you read through them and they're not very long anyway. And you'll be able to uh, become more familiar with the topic. And also, if you do have those particular books that I showed, the translation for um, the first part of uh, Shahid al-Sadr rahimahullah's book Durus fi Ilm al-Usul Lessons in Islamic Jurisprudence or the Principles of Jurisprudence, then it is uh, important for you to also have a look through them. The more you are uh, doing some background reading on this topic, the more you will benefit from uh, the course. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.